Have you ever wondered what happens when you abandon a narcissist? We start with the first point, the hoovering attempt. Picture a narcissist trying to reel you back into their web using charm, promises or guilt trips. Their aim? To regain control and access to your emotional resources. It's a dance, a game, a tug of war. And it's essential to recognize this for what it is. Remember, these attempts to win you back are often more about control than genuine remorse. Moving on to the second point, the smear campaign. When you take a step back, narcissists might resort to tarnishing your image. They could spread misinformation or negativity about you, seeking to manipulate others' perceptions. Their aim? To isolate you further. They attempt to control the narrative, painting you in an unfavorable light. But remember, this is a reflection of their character, not yours. Stand strong in your truth and don't let these attempts to isolate you succeed. Next up, we have the third point, the tantrum or rage. Picture this, a narcissist, their control slipping away, their world upended. They might respond with anger, explosive outbursts, or even threats. It's a raw, chaotic reaction to a perceived loss of power. It's like a storm, wild and unpredictable. But in the eye of this storm, you must stand firm. Your resilience, your calm is your shield. You set your boundaries and you hold them. In such situations, maintaining your calm and setting boundaries is crucial. Let's delve into the fourth point, the false apology. When the narcissist senses they're losing control, they might resort to offering insincere apologies. These apologies, however, are often laced with attempts to shift blame, minimize their actions, or even gaslight you into questioning your own perceptions. It's a sly maneuver designed to regain control. But remember, it's important to discern the genuineness of their remorse and prioritize your own well-being. Don't let the false apology lure you back into the toxic cycle. At the halfway mark, we have the fifth point, the bargaining and negotiations. Narcissists, in their quest to regain control, might attempt to negotiate their way back into your life. They'll often present you with promises of change, improved behavior, or even grand gestures of affection. But remember, it's easy to make promises. What really matters is consistent effort, actions that demonstrate a genuine intention to change. So be mindful and don't be swayed by mere words. Remember, true change takes consistent effort, not just promises. Moving forward, we arrive at the sixth point, the silent treatment. In this scenario, a narcissist might completely withdraw, leaving you in a void of silence and emotional absence. This is another manipulation tool in their kit, hoping that their silence will pull you back into their orbit. They may expect you to reach out, to seek closure, or to simply fill the silence they've created. But this is your chance to resist that urge. Resist the urge to fill the void and focus on your own healing. Next, we have the seventh point, the personal growth opportunity. Distancing yourself from a narcissist might be challenging, but it's a journey towards self-discovery. It's like opening a door that leads to a new world of personal growth. You get a chance to regain control of your life, prioritize your needs, and discover your true potential. This newfound autonomy allows you to foster healthier, more fulfilling relationships. So take this opportunity to reclaim your autonomy and build healthier relationships. As we near the end, the eighth point is the improved support system. When you step away from a toxic relationship, it's like opening a barred door to a world of support. You find the opportunity to reconnect with friends and family, those who genuinely care about you and your well-being. Moreover, you can tap into resources that were previously overshadowed by the narcissistic relationship. Surround yourself with those who prioritize your well-being and offer genuine emotional support. Now let's discuss the ninth point, the clarity and empowerment. When you step back, you gain a clearer perspective on the dynamic that was at play. You begin to understand the manipulative tactics that were used, and this understanding empowers you. It's like you're seeing the world in high definition for the first time. Armed with this knowledge, you can set healthy boundaries in future relationships, ensuring that you never find yourself in a similar situation again. Remember to value your well-being and prioritize self-respect. Finally, we reach the tenth point, the potential for healing. Casting aside the shackles of a toxic relationship is no small feat. It's a courageous act of self-preservation that can lead to profound healing and emotional recovery. 
By acknowledging the toxicity and creating distance, you're not simply moving away, you're moving forward. This forward momentum paves the way for healing, a journey that can be as unique as you are. It may involve rebuilding your self-esteem piece by piece until you stand tall once again. It could be rediscovering your sense of self, that core of who you are, which might have been overshadowed in the narcissistic relationship. And most importantly, it's about moving towards healthier relationships, ones that celebrate your worth and respect your boundaries. Healing isn't a destination, it's a journey. A journey that you embark on the moment you choose yourself over the narcissist. You have the power to rebuild your self-esteem, rediscover your sense of self, and move towards healthier relationships. In conclusion, walking away from a narcissist is a courageous and self-protective act. Setting boundaries or ending a relationship with a narcissist can lead to a series of reactions, all of which we've discussed in this video. From the hoovering attempt to the silent treatment, to the tantrum or rage, and even the smear campaign. They may also offer false apologies or try to bargain their way back into your life. But remember, true change takes consistent effort, not just promises. And while these reactions can be challenging to navigate, distancing yourself from a narcissist opens doors for personal growth, improved support systems, clarity, empowerment and healing. It's a journey towards rediscovering your sense of self and building healthier relationships. But it's a journey you don't have to walk alone. Professional guidance from a therapist or counsellor can be invaluable in this process. Remember, you're not alone and there's support available. Prioritize your well-being and you can move forward to a healthier, happier life.